time now to introduce a mesmerising new star of the big screen, Bungie. See how they grow. They are remarkable images, these, aren't they? It might sound unlikely. It's subject of a new film being shown on extra large, high definition cinema screens, bigger even than these. Have a look. Fungi are some of the only organisms capable of breaking down the complex chemistry of wood. After penetrating the wood, Fungi deploy a range of digestive chemicals, breaking down plant matter and releasing the nutrients back into the soil to be taken up by future generations of forest life. It is all rather magical. The film's creator, uh, biologist Merlin Sheldrake, is with us now. Pictures are stunning. I had nothing to do with those. An amazing set of, um, uh, of photographers who spend so much time getting those time lapses. You know, it's very hard to make visible the invisible, and somehow they do it. It takes great patience. Yes, and there's, let's get a couple of things straight first. Bjork, <laughs> the voice people heard narrating the documentary, is Bjork, the mm -hmm. singer. Yes, Bjork. What's the Bjork? Fungi connection. Well, Bjork's an extraordinary artist who works a lot with the living world. She thinks very deeply about the biosphere and about all the different ways of being alive. And, um, and her last album, Fosora, uh, had fungal themes in it. So this is a subject that's interested her for a while. Just explain to us what fungi is. It's not a plant, it's not an animal. It's been hugely significant in some really important parts of our lives. That's right. So it's a, a kingdom of life that's as broad and busy a category as animals or plants. Um, but they're not plants. They don't eat light and carbon dioxide um, like plants do. Uh, they don't have muscular bodies that find food in the world and put it inside themselves like animals do. Um, they grow networks. Um, they grow networks of branching tubular cells that um, insinuate themselves in their food source. Um, and so they, they do their own thing and their own way of life. Penicillin is a form of fungi, Charlie. Alcohol relies on fungi as it's produced by yeast. And yet, there's a lot about it that we don't know. That's right. They're a kingdom of life that have not received a kingdom's worth of attention, which is, um, which is a problem because they provide a key to understanding the planet on which we live. The first thing everyone thinks of, I think inevitably, is mushrooms, mm -hmm. uh, which obviously are a fungi, but that's just a very small part of, of the broader... Uh, creation, isn't it? That's right. So fungi um, produce mushrooms a bit like plants produce fruit to produce... Uh, they produce spores which help them to disperse themselves. Uh, but most fungal life is lived as, uh, as networks which are buried inside whatever they happen to be eating. Do you think that we need to start looking at fungi in a different way because lots of people will hear the word and just feel a bit grossed out? It's funny, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Um, I spend my life dealing with these, these reactions. Um, but, um, yeah, for sure. You know, these are uh, ancient life support systems that easily qualify as some of the wonders of the living world. Um, we've not given them enough attention. Uh, they are responsible for so much. Um, you know, as we speak, they're making soil, um, making food, making medicines, nourishing plants, um, influencing the composition of the atmosphere. Uh, they make all life um, on Earth possible. And, uh, and so, for sure, I think it's time to, to rethink that. It's not just about your omelette, Charlie. Oh, absolutely not. Now, you and your fellow scientists are discovering more and more all the time, aren't you? There is a sequence in the film where you, uh, you look at plastic and how a, much, a fungi has the ability to start breaking down plastic. Can you explain that? What is happening? So... Fungi are chemical wizards. They can break down all sorts of tough compounds, like wood, for example. We forget about how hard it is to digest wood. Um, they, can, um, they can live on all sorts of um, bare rock they can eat. So um, this team, Peter Mortimer and his team, have found that some types of fungi can break down some types of plastic and, um, and use it as an energy source. So for them, it's food. And uh, so if there are ways for us to harness this, obviously it could be very useful in, in our efforts to adapt to the pollution crisis we've created. That is a real practical use, isn't it? Um, 
interested to learn about uh, you playing the beat of a fungi. You've managed to find a musical rhythm to that. How does that work? I think we've got a video of it. Yeah, that's quite... Uh, well, when I released my book, uh, Entangled Life, I got, um, I got a fungus to eat it. So I, I, fed, I fed it to a fungus and the fungus you know, digested all the pages and the covers. At your book? Yeah, yeah, ate okay. it. Like, and so, so it's a big, sort of fluffy, um, you know, partially digested book. And then it sprouted <laughs> mushrooms out of the side. Um, I then ate those mushrooms, um, but we plugged in electrodes to the book so that it could detect fluctuations in the electrolyte activity of the fungus and then converted that to sound. And then I'm playing along with that sound. Oh, can we hear that? You that really that love can we hear that? And which bit of that is the, is the oh, fungi that's all, noise? Well, the piano bit's me. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yes, I figured that. <laughs> and then all the rest is fungus. Okay, toadstools are a fungi. That's another name for mushroom. A mushroom, yeah. yes. Why is it, do you think, uh, Merlin, that we associate... Why is it linked with kind of mythology? And see, you look at a scene like this, and some people be thinking it comes from you know, fairy stories mm. and, you know, little creatures sitting on top of mushrooms. Mm. Why the link with mm. all that mythology? I know that's not what the film is about, mm. But there is a sort of connection there, isn't there? For sure. I think part of it is to do with their mystery. You know, that the most fungi, they erupt into human life in the form of mushrooms for just a short while every year. So there's only so much we, we can know. So there's a kind of mysterious quality to them. But also, um, many mushrooms produce psychedelic compounds that can change the way that we think and that we feel and imagine and can cause us to to dream and have visions. And um, many fungi produce medicines which allow us to survive and, and remain healthy. So th they have this association with healing, with vision and transformation. And I think that's fed into that. And what are, do we need to put out, Merlin, the cautionary note about be careful of what you eat? Absolutely, yeah. So you, that's important, isn't it's it? It's very important. There's some mushrooms that would kill you if you ate them. And, um, you should only eat mushrooms that you're positively identifying. So that means if you find a mushroom, you're like, well, it's not that one, and it's not that one, so it must be this one. That's not a positive identification. You want to be able to say, I know exactly that it's this one because of X, Y, and Z, and so I know it's safe to eat, and so I'll eat it. And what did the mushroom taste like that grew on your book? <laughs> it tasted great. I thought it would taste of all my sort of naughty sentences and like, <laughs> agonised grammar and stuff, but it tasted really good. You could taste every comma. Oh, well, I wish I could, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, so the, the, the pictures are quite remarkable. They really are mesmerising, kind of mesmerizing. absolutely. Well. Mm. A really good watch. And um, it is 7.58. Still to come on breakfast. There was a ship sailed on the North Country